guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna to show you how I conceal my dark circles. Um, some people call them red, some people's are brown, um, but it is the light, delicate skin underneath your eyes um, that cause you to have some discoloration. And so today I'm gonna to show you how I conceal them. And if you like these types of videos, just keep on watching. Um, I went ahead and already put on my um, sunscreen, which is right here. This is what I use today. And I just hydrated my lips. So other than that, my face is bare. So I'm just going to show you how I take the concealer and just conceal the thin skin around your eyes. And as you age, um, the skin does get a little bit thinner. It's extremely delicate. And so we have to be careful um, as you age. So um, this tip and trick that I use can be used by any age. It doesn't have to be older people. Um, the only difference I would say is if you're younger, I would go ahead and set this with a powder. Um, but if you're anywhere over 40, or if you just get those fine lines around your eyes, I would um, err on the side of caution with the powders. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, show you my two concealers I'm going to use today. So one is the Derma Blend and the other is the Osmosis. And one is a little bit darker than the other. The Derma Blend I have in the shade 23W. It is a little bit on the warmer side. It's a little more closer to my skin tone. And I just take it and um, put it on, not right on, like if you have a bag right here, do not put it on it, put it below it. Um, and then same on the other side. And then I take the lighter shade, which is my Osmosis in the shade Silk. And I put that right um, in between the other. The lighter shade I would put on the outside. I tend to get red out here, if you can tell, and I always will conceal on the out outer parts as well. So after I put both of those on, I kind of just let that sit for just a moment. And I know a lot of people will go right in with a beauty blender and I do not use a beauty blender here. I actually use a, this, I'm not even sure what kind of brush this is, and I apologize, but any kind of fluffier, denser brush would be fine. And I literally take the brush after it sits for a few minutes, I'm probably going in prematurely, but let this sit for, I don't know, maybe a minute, minute and a half, um, and let that dry down just a little bit and then it's easier to um, stipple into your skin. Otherwise, you're going to be moving the product all over your face and you want it to stay exactly where you put it. So um, hence why you're not gonna make these sweeping motions, you're going to do like a stippling type of effect. So just go in and I kind of just stipple. <laughs> and this is already probably a little bit lighter than I had anticipated it would be. Now, if you're wearing a full face of foundation and you're bronzing and you're doing all your contouring and blush and all of that, this won't matter, but I'm just wearing a sunscreen today. So I have to kind of be a little bit careful about how much product I'm using under my eyes or I'm going to look kind of weird. It might have to force me to put foundation on, but I'm not really going anywhere. So it doesn't too much matter, but, um, so stippling, and this right here, you'll see the light on the outside just kind of lifts your eye a little bit, which is what you want, right? And then once you get it blended in, you can kind of feather it down. Now I get dark all the way in here, so I do bring it up. You want to keep this nice and uh, dewy or hydrated, really hydrated, which is why I don't powder because, it, like I said, as you get older, you have to be careful with the powder. So, and as you can see, it definitely brightened it up and... Now I will go in with a little bit of bronzer, so 
that won't be so light and you can bring it right down you want this all to blend I mean you don't want the highlighted part and then like I get red through here so I don't want to leave that red just stipple avoid this now if you're gonna go in with the powder you're one of my little younger honeys <laughs> Um, you can grab your beauty blender. I would get it damp. And I would definitely use a more translucent powder to set this. And I'll show you just, I don't want to leave anybody out. So if you're planning to powder this I'll show you how I do it and my nose looks red doesn't it it's okay so there for those of you that are going to powder I use the the Ilia it's falling all over the place just tap some off So I'm lazy, I'm not gonna wet this. I'm just gonna spray it. And I would take it. Just on the end. already got concealer in my hair. Never fails. Never. I really should put my hair all up, but I don't. I need some more product here, guys. So again, I don't do this because my under eyes tend to crease. So those of you that can't really do this, um, but you can really see, guys, look at the difference. I mean, but what we do, what I do, is I'll just keep this brush with me. If I really feel like I'm going to have an issue, um, I'll just keep this with me and I'll just go like this. Or you can just take your fingers. You take these everywhere, right? So just literally press and it will, it will all smooth right back out. If you end up getting a little line under there, just smooth it right back out. But otherwise, I feel like I really can't, I don't know if it's picking it up, but I can see the product on my eye. Although this looks better, I can see the makeup and I don't like that look. So just for the sake, because that, and picking it up on camera, this does look better and I know I can see that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Do the same thing on the other side just to even it out but again just keep your if you just keep your little brush with you or use your fingers you should be able to just yeah that's it guys that's it just the main the few main points the few main tricks stay with the beauty blender when you are doing your concealer if you're over 40 and just the stippling effect with the brush just placing the product not sweeping it not moving it you want to keep it where it's at just by stippling and keeping that product right where you put it and letting it dry down a little bit and making sure that you're using a moisturizing dewy type of concealer for your eyes I would stay away from those drier ones um, such as um, I think the shape tape is really drying for my eyes. Um, I think some of the better ones would be, I like the two that I'm using, the Dermablend, I like the Osmosis, and I also like NARS. I think NARS is a really nice um, concealer as well, very moisturizing and hydrating to the eyes. Make sure you're using an eye cream, 100%. Um, uh -huh. It's a deal breaker if you're not using an uh, eye cream, then that's step number one. Um, a good eye cream, 
I'm right now I'm using the Dermatology Age Reverse. This is the one that works for me. Um, I like it. I, I've had good luck with it. It's very moisturizing. I feel like it does. I mean, the best one I think I've ever used, and this is a close second, I think is the SkinCeuticals, the AGE is the best, but guys, the price is crazy. So I'm not gonna recommend it to you because of the price point. So considering the price, this is absolutely, um, for price and product, this is number one. Um, I don't think I have found anything better for the price than this one. So I like that one. Um, yeah, and that's it. Okay guys, so that's how I take care of my under eye circles. And if you like these types of videos, leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to do other ones just like it. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do that and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video.